Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, either one. Um, in this video we are going to be testing, I did a 7, it actually ended up being like a, like an 11 day, sorry, I worked graveyard last night and I was like, what day is it? It ended up being like an 11 day review of the Jergens Natural Glow um, Daily Moisturizer for the face. This is supposed to be like a self tanner, but it doesn't work right away. It like w slowly builds up on your face over seven days. I just worked graveyard and I just woke up and I am very disoriented. It's about 115 degrees in California today and I'm not even exaggerating. It's like a record high. I don't have air conditioning in my house or my car or at my work so I'm just like there is no escape and being hot makes me so stupid like when it's hot outside I just am like sluggish I don't understand things and then I get like frustrated with myself and other people because I don't understand and I'm hot and I'm irritated and I don't even know if this is a shirt can someone help me is this a shirt or is this a bra I don't I just need as little clothing on as possible I don't know if I should go out like this though I am supposed to meet a friend at Starbucks I don't know if this is appropriate but anyways today we're going to be testing the Jergens natural glow I meant to test it for seven days this is what happens when I do like extended review videos as I like do them and then I like keep using the product and then I forget and then I forget to post it and then I don't even remember really what my reaction is and this happened with Halo Beauty and that's like a 30 day review and I just could not my adult ADHD could not so I am doing this right now while this is fresh in my brain as fresh as my brain ever is because my brain is a little musty sometimes and I know that you guys um, I got some requests for a Thirsty Palette tutorial, which I am going to do. I've just been super busy with work and stuff, and I don't plan on wearing glitter eyeshadow today, because I have like a bunch of stuff to do after this, but it's just not glitter eyeshadow appropriate. Um, so I will post that probably early next week. So anyways, the Jergens Natural Glow. <laughs> you just incorporate it into your skincare routine at routine routine as a moisturizer um you're only supposed to use it once a day so i would use it during the day and then at night i would use my glam glow moisturizer that i would normally use can i see this this laser beam shooting off my face so i would use it in the morning and then at night i would just use my regular moisturizer um I do not feel that this changed the color of my face at all. I'm going to include the blogs here and you guys can let me know in the comments if you think differently. Um, I just, I mean now, okay, basically I feel like my face was exactly the same color the whole time and then at the end of the video, not at the end of the video, but like a couple days ago, it was 4th of July and I went to Joshua Tree and went on a hike in the desert and then yesterday I was like collecting soil samples for my internship in the sun in, the, in California in the middle of July. It was 100 degrees and now my face is actually tan and I mean not like tan, like it's a relative term. It's not, I get that I'm not tan, but it's tanner than usual and I now do not know. But throughout the duration of using this stuff I did not see a huge difference in the color of my skin I also got the one that's her fair to medium skin tones because let's be honest <laughs> I'm not medium to deep I do okay I will say that as a moisturizer I liked this it has a 30 SPF my skin didn't feel dry or anything because sometimes with moisturizers that are like this that are kind of like gimmicky it's not really gimmicky but it's not like exclusively a moisturizer you know so I worry that it like won't moisturize my face you know like do its job and it I felt I didn't feel my face was dry at all it is a little bit sticky when you put it on and it kind of pills off like a little bit um but overall my skin looked really good and I do feel like the term natural glow, I do feel like my skin looked very glowy. I was getting a lot more compliments on my foundation. Like me and this girl at work always talk about, we're like, 
because we watched makeup tutorials both of us like a lot and then we come in and we're just like <laughs> and we're like look at this it look pretty like we never look like it and our skin is always all patchy and weird and I like came in she was like you did it you got the skin and I literally hadn't done anything different with my makeup like I just put on Huda Beauty and like some Mac Fix Plus and I the only difference is that I was using this stuff so I mean I do feel like it makes my face look more radiant right now it just looks like an ice skating rink or perhaps a diamond um it's just very shiny right now because I just put all of my products on for the day um but it has been looking a lot better when I apply foundation it looks a lot better so it did make my skin look better overall I think I will continue using it um as far as self tanner I don't know they have one for the body too if you guys want to try it out it was like eight dollars a target and there's a one dollar and fifty cents off coupon so i'm going to include the vlog footage here and you guys can judge for yourself if my skin looked different over the course of these seven days i hope you guys like this video i don't normally do this in depth of reviews on moisturizer but i saw a video of someone else used it and her before and after was like crazy so maybe it's just me i do use a lot of like acids on my skin like I use hyaluronic acid and lactic acid and AHA and BHA and all these like chemical exfoliants kind of um so I mean I might have just like corroded it off of my face I don't really know what happened um it has I've seen it look really good on other people and maybe over time it'll look really good on me I, don't, I just didn't make me tan but I'm gonna include the vlog footage why do I keep calling it a vlog? The vlog footage here. You guys can decide for yourselves if you think it made a positive or negative impact on my skin. Here's the vlog footage. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Hi guys. Okay, so this is day one. I am testing the Jergens Natural Glow Face Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen. I am pretty pale in the face. It is getting pretty close to July now, so I need to do something about this. Don't want to go in the sun though, so I'm going to try. Honestly, I need it for like my whole body too, but I could only afford to get body or face, and I said, I think. I'm gonna have to prioritize here, go with the face. So this is day one, this is my first time using it. I've put everything else on my face for the morning, which you guys know, if you've watched my video, is an excessive amount of stuff. And just so you guys can see the ghastliness of my skin tone, it is pretty pale. So this is the bottle. It's kind of small, two floral ounces, which I guess for a facial moisturizer isn't that bad you will begin to see a subtle development of color within a few days if color change is not as noticeable as desired apply more frequently and this has a 20 spf so that's it's not the highest spf in the world but not too shabby i'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my face and put it on my neck too because my neck is pretty pale because i always put sunscreen on my face and my neck it smells nice. It doesn't really have like too much of a scent. It's just kind of like a clean, fresh, lotiony smell. So I'm doing the same that I would with foundation, where I'm just trying to blend it back. I'm doing the back of my neck too, because I don't just want the front of my neck to be tan. Um, I'm just going into the hairline so that there's no like deep markation line there. I never use this sort of stuff ever, but I'm actually really like tan naturally, but I'm really trying to avoid the sun because the closer I get to 30, the closer I just, the more I just refuse to age. Um, so I'm just getting that back into the hairline and I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes, wash my hands off. Um, it feels fine on the face. Maybe a little sticky. Not even really. It feels fine. So that's that. I will keep checking in with you guys so we can kind of do a progress over the next week. See how this works. I, I'm sorry about this awkward angle. I was just going to take a picture, but then it ended up being a video. So now I'm just like, <laughs> all right. See you guys tomorrow just as a bronze goddess. Oh my God, my cat is pulling on my shorts. Stop it! Alright, see you guys tomorrow. 
All right, you guys, so this is day three. So we are now about halfway through to the no foundation in seven days challenge, which isn't gonna happen regardless of what this does to my face, but I also can't see you right now because my glasses are on top of my head, so I hope I'm looking at the camera. But I do feel I look a little bit more bronzed, just a tiny bit. You guys are like, it's a little hard to tell on the camera, but I do feel that there is a little bit more color to my face than there was on Monday. However, it obviously hasn't been the whole week yet that they recommend waiting to see. So we'll see. I'll check in with you guys in a few days and let you know how this is working. So far, how I've been doing this is I use my normal routine at night and my normal moisturizer. And then I just use this for my moisturizer during the day since it has a high SPF in it. And yeah, I mean, I think my skin looks pretty. I think it does have a little bit more color to it, even if you guys don't believe me. And it just looks dewy and like nice. It's not like a patchy, orangey, nothing. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a few days. Hi guys, welcome to day five. I think I said last time was day three, but I think it was actually day two. Um, so it is the morning i have put on everything else on my face so i am just i'm sorry i can't see anything because i don't have my glasses on but i put this on after everything else my eye cream and all my serums and obviously my face wash and my toner so far i don't know can you guys tell i think there might actually be a little more color on my face but i don't know if that's just me imagining it it hasn't reached like the seven day point yet where i'm supposed to be tan so i will let you guys know let me know your thoughts i do feel like my skin i will say this moisturizer like as far as a moisturizer goes my skin has been pretty soft i like that it has 20 spf so i haven't been using my sunscreen i've just been using this like as a sunscreen um yeah, I, my skin's been pretty. I haven't been breaking out or anything from it. Um, I just don't know if I'm tan yet. But I think maybe a little. We'll see. Two more days. I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, so this is day seven of the Jurgens Natural Glow. It says seven days until foundation free, which will you can give me seven million days, and that will never, ever happen for me. I'm... This morning I tried not washing my face because I was reading a bunch of Korean skincare articles last night which always give me like a ton of anxiety about all the things I'm doing wrong with my face. Um, and they said a lot of them because they interviewed all these different models and they said don't wash your face too much, washing your face dries it out, just wash your face with water in the morning and then wash it off at night as soon as you get home. So I'm trying to not wash my face in the mornings but my face feels disgusting um but we'll see watch tomorrow i have the most beautiful skin anyone's ever seen and i'll be eating my words i okay well first of all i'm not foundation free i will probably wear foundation until the day i die but um i don't think my skin looks that much different you can tell me if you guys think differently this camera isn't really good at picking up color or <laughs> anything visual um but i did a picture and i did like a side by side i made like a pig stitch which i will insert here and i do not think that it looks really it looks exactly the same color to me and just like in my day-to-day -day life i'm looking at myself in the mirror right now i have not noticed that much of a change although seven days is probably like the minimum i will keep using it i will let you guys know if i feel like i'm getting any tanner as of right now i mean my skin does look pretty i did get like a lot of compliments at work yesterday on like how i did my foundation and it was like pretty much the same way that i always do it so it does look glowy and pretty i don't feel like it looks any tanner but we'll see i will keep you guys posted all right Mwah. Okay, so there it is, you guys. Seven days of Jurgen's Natural Glow. I think I looked exactly the same at the end of it. I I made a little side-by-side -side before and after, and I just really didn't see a difference. But maybe you guys saw it. I Like I said, I do feel like my skin has looked pretty radiant and nice. 
I don't have complaints. I don't I don't hate it. It wasn't expensive. It just didn't make my face tan. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, and like I said, I will be posting a thirsty tutorial soon. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. I'm sorry if I've been wearing a bra throughout this entire video. I really cannot tell if you guys want to weigh in. Feel free to comment below. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Love you all so much. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.